Floods are not enemies. We can make a friend with flood. We can make friend with water. What we should do is just the five ancient wisdom. What we have done is totally wrong. We think we can use concrete to channelize the river. We think we can use dike to protect the city from being flooded, and we drain away all the water. We're filling all the lakes to build the city, and that will cause flood and drought. So you can see every year the city being flooded. In 2012, 79 people got drowned in Beijing. It's simply because we destroyed the natural system. We didn't give water enough space. We have to understand that those great infrastructures. Are actually killers of the natural system, which we have to depend on for our sustainable future. Sometimes we have better solutions, the nature-based solutions, which can provide us the same or better surfaces. The idea of Sponge City is allow the natural flow to come back. Use a wetland system, use a sponge system to retain the water, to keep the water instead of drain away. But then people ask, "You have a beautiful idea. You have created a harmonious relationship between nature and and man, between the water and the city. But how is that possible? We actually remove the flood wall. We retreat." The dikes and create a eco-friendly terraces, so that the land and water will meet, depending on the different levels of flood. So during the monsoon season, it's for the flood. During the dry season, it becomes a park for everyday use. Instead of hard, grey concrete bank, now we bring back the lives, the clean water. The lush vegetation, the birds and the fish come back, and people just love it. So it's become a park in the center of the city. I want to show people that. Green solution works. From that one city, 20 years ago, now we have 250 Chinese cities having us doing projects. Rivers, global wise, are suffering the same problem. The ecological based or nature based solution. Can be a solution, global-wise.